they conceded very explicitly that this is a good law. It enhances access to justice. And also, speaking for myself, it addresses a very, very big issue of internal and institutional independence. Now, in that <coughs> context, when this is an admitted fact, the only question whether the parliament had the competence or not, kya jo 184.3 ki requirements hai, wo fulfill hoti hai, because there is no enforcement of fundamental. But if that is so, then these petitions have to be rejected on this basis alone, because in so far as legislative <coughs> competence is concerned, 184.3 cannot be pressed into service. So, so thank you. If, uh, if we'll uh, let you. I think a lot of questions are uh, coming up. We'll note, I'll try to make please, a point. Please, sir, my lord, my lord, please. Well, if you continue to continue, I want to know where you're going. Okay. Attorney General, if I may ask you a question. Uh, is it in the public interest that parliament, or for that matter, a provincial assembly, remains within the limitations that may be placed by the constitution on parliament or a provincial assembly? Is it in the public interest? My Lord, uh, which fundamental right would it not be affected? Not fundamental right. I'm talking of public interest. Of course. Of course. Yes. So therefore, <laughs> if <laughs> if, again, this is happening, which I must, uh, sorry, interject. I would, with you have agreed with now here, I won't agree with you. I will say it may be unconstitutional, but not within the parameters of 184.3. There may be a lot of unconstitutional things going on in Pakistan. But it won't come within the parameters of 184.3. That is a fundamental point. That's my way of approaching it. Uh, others have different ways of approaching it. So I think you have to go. I'll just, this, this yes, part, I'll just continue. If I may continue, sorry. If I may continue. It is in the public interest. I'm not speaking of any fundamental right. I'm only speaking of public interest. It is in the public interest you accept, and I think rightly so, that uh, because we have a federal structure, parliament and provincial assemblies must remain constitutional limits, right? Whatever those constitutional limits are. So therefore, it seems to me to follow logically that if parliament makes a law that is ultra vires or a provincial assembly makes a law that is ultra vires it is in the public interest to challenge that law. Because if remaining within the constitutional limits is in the public interest, then going beyond those limits and making an ultra wide is surely a breach of public interest. What would you say to that? That touches upon the legislative competence. Now. No, no, I'm talking of public interest. Yes, yes, but, yes, no, no, but any the, law, a law cannot be struck down interest. on the basis of just where, being public. Where the challenge can be is a separate. Well, let's, let's just take a step back. Any law made by any legislature, 